Oh, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Leo. Now, this will be for the 16th to the 22nd of May 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, it's a general reading, so it's not going to feed everyone out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. All right, so I've done what I've done the last couple of weeks. Um, I've shuffled the Oracle. They've fallen out. I've, you know, we'll go through them, and then we'll do the Tarot um, on camera, which I've pre-shuffled these, but um, we'll go through them. And I'm going to try and do a different type of reading this time for something for a bit of a difference. Um, we'll do your side, them, their side and your side. So we'll start with the um, oracle. So you are a resilient person. You've got resilience in reverse. You are a resilient person. As much as you may think you're not, you are. But you had a lot of lessons. And I feel like, you know, you could still be going through them right now. But you need to learn from these and grow. That will help you in your future. But you need to keep being resilient and growing from the situations you've been in. Because I feel like you've been quite hurt. Um, yeah, 2 and 1 is 3 with resilience because it's 21. 2 and 1 is 3 and it's in reverse. So 3 is, you know, you're not growing. You're not kind of taking any kind of action. Um, and then you've got the growth card being because you need to. And 5s are, are about, you know, making a change. Um, because you've had some sort of loss, so you're growing from the hurt from that. As I said, you've got four on the next, um, the next deck that talks about, uh, it says, just like you, I'm always doing some, for, some form of mission. My energy and wisdom supports those around me. I feel like. Yeah, you've even got mission. Um, there's a few mission cards. I see you working to create change and I'm proud of what you are accomplishing. I want to work on mission with you. Um, so I feel like, you know, with, with the situation that you're going through, like people are seeing you. People are seeing you creating change in your life. Um, and I feel like you had to. Like there was some sort of loss that you went through, which is what you're growing from. And as I said, you know, it's about growth. And it's about you being resilient. And um, I just, yeah, I feel like you feel like you're always having to do that, though. You know, whether it's um, there's always something you're needing to be, you feel like you need to work on or you're always having to work on. Um, I feel like you help a lot, like, I see you as being very caring or, um, and maybe you, you know, you and your person both are, um, you, you're working on growing and you're working on bettering your life. And I feel like you both, you and the person that you are going to be with, uh, you're both doing the same kind of thing right now. You know, they talk about twin flames or whatever that you know those people are that you want to whatever you want to call them it's up to you whatever you believe but whether it's a soulmate a twin flame you know you mirror each other and i feel like that's what's happening you know you're working on you you're, you're a very caring person you know you you've learned a lot and yet you still help other people i feel like you put other people before you you know, they are also working on change in their life. And, yeah, I feel like they're also, it's like they're saying, you know, I'm seeing that you're growing. Can you see what I'm saying? Like you're both kind of working on the exact same thing without knowing each other possibly, but it's like you're both doing what you need to do to come together. You're both working on that kind of healing. As I said, you're you're growing. Um, when I look into your eyes, I see the universe and it activates me. 
I feel like that's just a, a message from their, you know, their soul saying that, you know, there's something that they're, I don't feel like it's really about their eye, your eyes, but I feel like it's more, they know that you're out there, you know that they're out there. So it's like you both are doing that work. Like, it, it you know, they, it's hard to explain, but I feel like they just, the feeling that I'm getting it's like they know you're out there, so they know, don't, they know they need to do the work, so it activates them to kind of do that. You know they're out there, so you're kind of activated as well because you know you need to make some changes. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, because, you know, you had to grow because you were going through the same patterns. Like you hadn't actually let, like made a change to break the cycle. So you kept on getting, you know, a lot of the same kind of people that, you know, you got hurt by. So, yeah, as I said, got hurt by. Venus of, Ve goddess of love is Venus. And, you know, this talks about being happy and uh, being in love, being in relationships, you know, all those things. And um, I just feel like that's not happening for you right now. And once again, because you haven't met this person yet, but you still are both working on your own things right now so you can come together and it's funny, Aries actually had something similar. Um, but you're both needing to come together as a um, as a couple. As a healed couple. Um, on the bottom, you've got Gaia, Mother Earth. Whether you need to do some grounding, maybe figure out who you are as a person. Um, I do feel like, though, you're going to be very different. But you'll kind of balance each other out. Um, you may even... I don't know whether this person's already got kids or whether you're going to have kids together. There's some sort of, um, I see that as the Empress. And funny enough, the Venus of love is like the Empress, but in reverse. You know, work on any codependencies that you have, whether it's you or your person. Somebody needs to work on um, being codependent as well. So when this person comes in, it's going to be like, do I want to take the chance? Do I want to take the gamble? You know, is it worth the, the risk? You know, because you feel like I've been hurt so much time, so many times. Do I want to walk through that door? Um, but once again, you've got butterfly, right? Growth. It talks about growth. It talks about transformation. It talks about making a change. It all comes back to the same kind of messages for you, which is, making changes and growing right let's do some tarot oh you've got crew i forgot the last game <laughs> so you've got crew and master this will be you know having to work together it's all about working together it's about you know you wanting to be in a relationship where you can work together as a unit as a team you know you're co-creating you know, your life together and pulling all your assets together. Um, so you're in sync. It's about a partnership that's in sync. It's about working as a team. And I feel like that is going to happen for you. Um, now, you've got the master card. To me, that's like the emperor um, or I just feel like the emperor. It's all about structure and discipline and focus um teaching you know learning a skill you're gonna need discipline and focus and you can overcome whatever it is you want but i see this as the emperor so i feel like this is about you know taking back power in your life having confidence 
you know, being ambitious, um, being somebody that people respect, like a leader, um, maybe even having a plan. Maybe this person works in authority or you work in authority. I don't, I don't know. One of you. Um, yeah. Anyway, all right, let's do some tarot. So I'm going to do a deck for you, deck for them, and we'll do a deck if I need to sort of get some extra information. Um, we want to find out what they, how they feel, what they're going through right now, what you're going through right now. Um, okay, let's start with you. We'll get four cards for Leo's person, please. Okay, we've got a few more than four. And we'll do four for you. It's funny that they've got a lot of cups. And you've got, they've got all cups pretty much. And you've got pentacles. Go figure. Oh, you got one cup. We'll do two more because then there's six each. Well, it's funny you both got a sword in that same position. That's funny. It's funny how they um, they do that. And you both got a wands as your extra cards. Go figure. <laughs> I love cards. I just, I love, I love it. I love it. Okay. I always feel like, you know, people that doubt this, like, uh, I don't understand. They're amazing. Okay. So I've already shuffled the deck as extra cards. So we'll start with them. So um, the first cup they have is the Ace of Raphael, which is the Ace of Cups in reverse. They've got the Page of Cups in reverse, Divine Guidance, which is the same as the Hierophant, King of Raphael, which is King of Cups in reverse, Two of Michael, which is Two of Swords in reverse, and the Three of Cups in reverse. As I said, cups are all about emotions, relationships, intimacy, right? And they're all... Every single cup for them, reverse. So, you know, we'll start with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is about somebody um, being hesitant. And I feel like, you know, I don't feel like they've been in these fulfilling relationships. Um, they haven't been, you know, long-lasting. They haven't, you know, fulfilled them in, in any kind of way. Um, I'll show you the card because you probably can't see that. So, yeah, they haven't been in these rela happy relationships. Um, and with the Page of Cups, you know, I feel like somebody's doubting their intuition. Um, as well. They haven't even been open to... Um, you know, new that I don't, I just feel like they haven't really wanted to kind of get into anything new right now. Um, because they've been in the same sort of similar situation as you where they've possibly been, been hurt. Um, uh, so yeah. King of Swords. Yeah, they're really needing to take back power in their own life. And with the King of Swords, I mean, this is about someone who's strategic and fair and has high standards, is an excellent communicator. You know, I feel like this, as I said to you, I feel like this person could work even in the legal field, um, something like that, because it's all about the King of Swords, you know, is about truth and... Um, fair judgment, you know, authority. Um, so whether they're something legal or like police or a lawyer or something like that. Um, yeah, but I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom, you know, that's somebody who is reliable. They're patient. They're an animal lover. They're hardworking. They're trustworthy. They're devoted. 
focused. They're very slow moving though. So this person might come in, um, you know, and as I said, not rush into a relationship. They might take their time. Okay, then we have divine guidance. So, you know, you are, or not you, they, they are actually, and take as resonates, you might be this side, but I try to do this, them this side and you this side, but take as whatever resonates with you. Um, they're searching for that meaning in life, you know, um, but they're also needing to kind of, I feel like, trust. They need to learn from, you know, whatever hasn't worked out for them. They need to look at what guides them in life, you know. Uh, it can also, they could have been in some sort of high level of commitment or married or something like that with in their past um, or in their current situation, whatever this is for them. Um, but with the King of Cups, you know, it's somebody who is emotionally manipulative and they're violent, crafty, moody. So any of those, you know, not someone who's very trustworthy. Um, and I feel like, you know, this is more what their their lesson is, their learning, because they've been in those situations with these people that are just emotionally manipulative. They're not good people. Um, and for them, that's they could have been married to this person or in a high level of commitment. So this is, I feel like, t t the feeling I'm getting is that's their person. Yeah, with the moon in reverse, yeah, they, they're going to have to release the fear that they have because they've repressed a lot. Um, they haven't trusted their intuition, but they've been in a situation, as I said, where they've had deception and, you know, this their, their person's always giving to other people. Um, and with the Ten of Pentacles as well, you know, they didn't have this happy family life with stability, all those sort of things. Um, so, yeah, I feel like, though, once again, they're looking for now something better than that. So with the two of swords in reverse, it's hard because they haven't really, they felt like they were stuck. They could have been in denial for some of it. They could have, you know, not known all the facts that they know. They feel like they need to release it, but they're kind of indecisive. They're confused. Maybe their head's saying one thing, their heart's saying another. So they're kind of stuck in this situation with this, with this person that doesn't make them feel good. Um, you know, but once again, it's like, oh, do I let them go? Do I not? So they're not really progressing right now. Which is, as I said, why they need to grow. They need to do that work on themselves. Um, then we have the three of Raphael. Three of cups in reverse. So once again, you know, they're not growing right now. Um, and because threes are about growing, growth, and taking action. So they're not really taking any kind of action right now. Um, there could be a third party involved for them or um, even, you know, they may just need to really spend some time alone. Leo's person. Yeah, four of cups in reverse. They're exhausted, they're burnt out, they're feeling like they're stuck, like I said. Um, their wishes haven't been fulfilled in the situation, you know, that they're in. Um, so, yeah. As I said, they're, they're kind of stuck in a situation with somebody that isn't really making them happy, but they're not yet released them. So, you know, your person is going to be coming, but they're just going to have to make some changes. They're going to have to do that work on themselves. They're probably with somebody who's a karmic or somebody who, you know, isn't their person that they've held on to. Um, the, the card on the bottom of the deck as well was the three of wands, like I said to you. Um, you've, they've also got the chariot and they've got the six of wands. I feel like, you know, they will have success because I mean, they've got the chariot as well. They've got to take action. They may have to travel, 
you know, but as long as they're determined, they make a change, they take action, they have drive, they have direction, you know, they can be have victory and success and um, work on their confidence as well. Now, the three of Gabriel, or three of wands um, says that, you know, they want to reap rewards of their efforts. They want return on investment, but it, you know, they want happiness and, you know, it may, they may have to travel overseas to come to you or they, they might be overseas from you or over water or something like that. They may be at a distance from you. Um, but yeah, I just feel like you're actively or they're in this period of actively waiting. You know, they waited to get their happiness and, and their wishes fulfilled. But at the moment, they're still in that period of waiting. And that's because they're in this situation that isn't making them happy and, you know, isn't right for them, isn't a good person. Okay, let's move on to you, your side. You've got the Knight of Pentacles, you've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Swords, the Lovers. So we'll start with the Nine of Pentacles. I love this card. Look at her. She's having her slurpee. <laughs> Um, the Knight of the Nine, oh sorry, Knight, Knight of Pentacles. You've got the Knight and the Page, and the Page is in reverse. You know, um, you need to learn from whatever hasn't worked out for you. And I feel like you are a very reliable person, right? You it's like what we just spoke about um on this side, you know, about um wanting someone and getting they even you know want somebody who's and they are also somebody um but they're looking for this person they're looking for this knight of pentacles which is exactly what you are right you are a knight of pentacles you are somebody who's reliable and an animal lover and trustworthy hardworking, cautious focused you understand the material world you know all these things right they're looking for you because as i said you have that they have that over this side you know, they're looking for that. You are that. Um, but, you know, you need to, with the page of pentacles, you need to learn from whatever hasn't worked and start making some progress. Um, maybe you're not manifesting what you want either. But it's funny that, you know, the one that they're looking for is over here and that's you. of wands same card that was over here you've got it again so there will be success and victory as i said but you know someone has to work on manifesting what they want being you exactly what i just finished saying five seconds ago you know you need to move on leave the past behind you want a happy home, you know, you want harmony, you want joy, you want a just a happy life. So I feel like, you know, you need to manifest that. You need to work on what it is you want and manifest it. Um, now, you've got the three of pentacles in reverse and the five of cups in reverse. You haven't learnt, as I said, you haven't grown. You're still needing to work on this growth. You know, you haven't learned as in you haven't wanted to make a change, you haven't wanted to grow, or you, you're you not growing because you're not learning. Um, that, you know, and with the Five of Cups, though, you are moving on. So you are going to forgive yourself. You are going to have hope again, um, which is, you know, that's a good thing. But, yeah, you definitely need to um, learn and, you know, And also, I've also, like, threes are, all, you know, in reverse, or three upright is all about teamwork. And I feel like learn that the relationships you've had, it hasn't been like you've needed, you've worked together as a team because the other card came up over there saying you need to work together as a team. I don't feel like your past, the one that 
you're moving on from hasn't you haven't worked together like um what's the word i'm trying to think of um like you weren't in sync you weren't yeah you weren't working together you've got the knight of wands The Knight of Wands talks about um, following your intuitive feelings when it comes to like if it, you know, if it says go to the beach, if you're feeling like I really got to go to the beach today, you know, follow that action because you never know where it's going to lead you. That's kind of the, the Knight of Wands talks about, um, you know, having inspired action, being impulsive, you know, being a bit of a risk taker. Um, Maybe going on an adventure, you know, like maybe you're going to go traveling. Maybe that's where you meet this person. Um, maybe, you know, whatever you're guided to do. And it's funny that you're doing that. They're, they've got divine guidance over here, but you've got inspired action. Um, yeah. You're needing to do the work on yourself, though. And I feel like that includes your finances because you've got the Ace of Pentacles here. Um but yeah, you're definitely moving on and having hope again, which is good. You've got the Ace of Swords, you know, fresh start. This is about communication. It's about changing your way of thinking. It's about clarity, truth, like I said. Um, and you've got the lovers. So there might be some sort of communication or a fresh start with somebody who is going to be your, your person where you've got the same values. And, you know, I feel like... At the moment, you're in that place of actively waiting, but I feel like, well, they are. You're in that place of, you know, you're wanting that and you know that that's what you want, but you're going to have a fresh start towards how you feel about relationships, how you, like, what it is you want, what it is you don't want. You know, you want somebody with the same values. You want someone where you can work together and you have the strength of two together as a team. Like I said, you want that partnership where, you know, you both are attractive, attract, uh, attracted to each other, you know, all those things. As I said to you, Emperor, what did I say? It's the exact same card, the Master card. And I said that just reminds me of the Emperor. There's the Emperor. You definitely... Needing to take back that power. Learn from whatever hasn't worked. Um, have some structure. You know, overcome whatever you've been going through. And I feel like the Eight of Cups in reverse and you've got the Five of Swords in reverse. You are walking away. You are, you are moving on from these people. As I said, you are leaving the past behind. But somebody says, no, 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 like, I want to try again. And then you've got the Five of Swords in reverse, which talks about reconciliation. So as I said to you, your person, like not this person, but the person from the past, you're wanting to move on, but this person may want to come back. But you need to you need to stand up for yourself. You need to say no, 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 no. I don't want to go back there. I know I need I deserve better. Yeah, you need to say no. You're really with the death in reverse though. Bless me. Yeah, with the death in reverse, you're really resisting the change. Or somebody, you know, like in your life, this person that you're you've been currently with or whatever. I feel like you need to, in a purge, you need to get whatever hasn't served you, you need to get rid of these people. Um, with the Ace of Cups in reverse, you're going to be very hesitant and maybe you need to be selfish. And here you are with the World card. So you are going to complete the lesson. Um, you are going to realise that you deserve better. And look, three of, uh, three of Swords in reverse. As I said, you are releasing the pain, you're forgiving, but yeah, you know you deserve better than this person. 
and you need to do that work on yourself and this person needs to work on themselves and get rid of their situation you're kind of mirroring each other like i said except this person hasn't let go you look like you're moving on but then they want to keep coming back but look four of wands you are going to move on three of wands oh sorry nine of wands you've got nine and four of wands both wands you know the nine of wands as i said to you you know you may feel like you just are exhausted but you know what this person hurt you now take a stand you know have the courage and the faith and the strength to say no put up your boundaries you know keep persisting in your life to get what it is you want but i feel like you're gonna have to take a stand and four of wands you are actually moving on and leaving the past behind which is what i've said before um, that you had so you are going to move on it's just going to be you know you're still trying to cut them out completely maybe you need to block their number or do whatever you need to do so you can get this person out of your life they still are in the place of they haven't released them properly but you're kind of mirroring each other right now Anyway, that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope that resonates. And if it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you with the next reading. Thanks for watching. Oh, you just saw 3113, a mirror number. 3113. Google that angel number because threes are about growth. Go figure. Um, and what action you're taking. And uh, ones are about beginnings and opportunities. So maybe Google 3113. And um, I'll catch you with the next read. There it is again, 3131. Okay, bye.